Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Ralf Ragnick provides positive injury update on Harry Maguire. Manchester United manager Ralf Ragnick has said that Harry Maguire could play again for the club this season. The England international has been struggling with a knee niggle which has kept him out of the matchday squad for the last two games. However, Ragnick has hinted that he may be available again. Maguire could return to team training during Thursday session. He told BBC Sport via ManUnited.com, Harry Maguire might be available again. We have to wait and see if he can train the day after tomorrow. Maguire has experienced a difficult season for United. He has been guilty of several positional errors over the course of the campaign. Despite the criticism from some fans, Ragnik has always been supportive of the club captain. He has regularly picked him in the starting eleven. The Brighton game on Saturday may come too soon for the £36 million rated star, but he could start the final match at Crystal Palace on May 22. Aaron won Bissaka on the transfer list this summer, as Ten Hag plans clear out. Manchester United are set for another summer of upheaval by all accounts. As Eric Ten Hag looks to start his project off on his own terms, it may result in several casualties. One of those is reported to be Aaron won Bissaka. The 24-year-old was a highly rated prospect at Crystal Palace when he joined three years ago. But his star has since lost plenty of shine. According to the Mirror, Wan-Bissaka is one of five players who have been placed on the transfer list by Ten Hag. Wan-Bissaka started off as the regular right-back under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer this season, but since Ralf Ragnick came in, has seen his minutes dramatically reduced. Diago Dalot has been preferred in his place and Juan Bissaka has played just two of United's last eight Premier League games. His proposed exit isn't that simple though. Arriving for £50 million, Juan Bissaka is unlikely to be able to recoup much of his value in the market. The Mirror said that former club Palace would be willing to welcome him back to the club, but given his wages and the cost of fee, would only do so on loan. As much, as Juan Bissaka can be labeled in defense at times, his one-on-one skills are still formidable at his best. If Ten Hag is looking to implement a similar style to his Ajax side, then Juan Bissaka may not have the progress on the ball that the Dutchman is looking for. It's been a point of consistent criticism during his spell at United. If Bissaka got the chance to stay, then Ten Hag should try to use him at the center back. The player is good in defense, he has the pace, and he can tackle perfectly, but he can't attack well. Monaco set the price tag for Manchester United target Aurelien Chouamini. According to us, via Sport Witness, Manchester United have discovered the price they will need to pay to sign Monaco midfielder Aurelien Chouamini ahead of a proposed move in the summer transfer window. Chouamini has been a revelation in League One, pulling the strings in midfield for Monaco and proving to be an effective midfield linchpin despite his age and lack of experience. His displays on the pitch this season have even seen him become a full France international. The 22-year-old has been a regular for his club ever since his move from Bordeaux in 2020 but could be set for a move away after catching the attention of several European sides. Real Madrid, Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain have shown interest in the player ahead of this summer. He also has a specific interest from the Premier League, with Man United and Liverpool both keen to sign him and bolster their midfields. Chelsea are also said to be another English side who are looking to snap him at the end of the season. Despite picking up interest from a variety of clubs, Chouamini's transfer will set any interested club back by a whopping 70 million euros. As a result, Madrid, Chelsea and Juventus are likely to back out of a summer move for the player due to his massive price tag. Further, it remains to be seen if the Blues' new owners are willing to splash the cash on making the Frenchman their mark signing in their first window. It's no secret that the Red Devils are on the hunt for a new central midfielder ahead of the new campaign, and they have regularly been linked with West Ham United star Declan Rice. In comparison to Chouamini, however, the Englishman is expected to cost much more. This may change the club's approach for Rice and seek out the Monaco star instead. Chouamini will prove to be a cheaper buy than the West Ham star. The Frenchman's lack of Premier League experience will be a big telling point. In comparison, Rice is one of the league's prominent midfielders. If it comes down to the two players in the summer, Man United will certainly have a tough call to make.
Manchester United have proposed a massive wage deal for Barcelona's Osman Dembele, according to transfer news from El Chiringto journalist Dario Montero. Manchester United and PSG are offering a lucrative wage deal to Osman Dembele, which Barcelona are aware of. Although Osman Dembele has made a comeback during the second half of the season, his overall output for Barcelona and this campaign remains below average. The French forward's recurring injury issues have hampered his consistency and form, resulting in lower involvement and contribution to the team. Barcelona made massive attempts in the winter transfer window to offload Osman Dembele in an effort to avoid losing him for free later on, but the Frenchman stood his ground and blocked all the attempt of interested teams at that time. The 24-year-old striker's current contract ends on June 30, and he would be free to leave the club after that if Barcelona fails in its attempt to convince him for a renewal deal. Manchester United and PSG remain the heavily concerned parties in Osman Dembele contract feud. Now, it's believed that both the teams have already made their offers to the entourage of the 24-year-old star and Barcelona are aware of the proposed deals. Manchester United are offering a net salary between 10 and 15 million pound and PSG's offer could reach 17 million pound. It remains to be seen what choice the Frenchman makes. United has already terminated the contract of Mason Greenwood and Edinson Cavani's future remains up in the air. Having showcased good performance against English teams, Dembélé may be a good fit for the Premier League side. He has speed, agility, good dribbling and crossing skills that can help him become a crucial asset to the United team. However, Considering PSG are also targeting the former Borussia Dortmund star, the Red Devils have to engage in a transfer battle if they want to secure the transfer of the 24-year-old. Our board wouldn't have to worry about the transfer fee as he would be a free agent in the following summer transfer window, but our board still has to fork out a significant amount to pay his wages. Manchester United receive a transfer boost for Lazio star Sergei Milinkovic Savic as Juventus aware of impossible battle. According to Tutto Sport via Sport Witness, Juventus have been made aware that they are unlikely to snap up Lazio star Sergei Milinkovic Savic with Manchester United well positioned to secure a transfer for the midfielder. Milinkovic Savic has been one of the standout performers for Lazio ever since his move to Italy from Genk in 2015. He has been a regular in the team as well, working hard for his side from the middle of the pitch and setting the tempo. His displays in middle have caught the attention of Man United, who are looking for similar kinds of player in the summer. However, they may face competition from Juventus for securing the services of the player. The Italian giants have regularly seen the Serbian in action at close quarters in the league and are very well aware of what the 27-year-old offers on the field. In good news for United, the Bianconeri are said to be very aware that winning a transfer battle against the English side is next to impossible due to their financial clout. The Serie A giants are in no position to compete with the Red Devils financially despite their status in Italy. The Serbia international has been consistently producing for Lazio for over seven years now, which is rare to see in the modern game. That is what is missing at United at the moment and by signing him, we could finally address the problems that have been plaguing the team for a long time. Manchester United are said to be preparing their first offer for Milinkovic Savic, reported by Calcio Mercato, and the agent of the Lazio midfielder has denied saying his client wanted a transfer to Manchester United this summer. Kesman was quoted by Foot001 earlier this week as saying, We are currently talking to Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain. He's focused on the season final with Lazio, but Sergei wants to go to Manchester United. However, the former Chelsea forward has now insisted this was fake news and that he never said such a thing. Clarifying the Milinkovic-Savic situation and leagues with Man United to Tutu Juve, Kesman said, It's a great fake news. I have never given interviews in the last period. Some journalists are really incredible. I'm very angry. It's a lack of respect towards me, towards Sergei and Lazio. Man United handed boost in signing Barcelona's Frankie de Jong. 
Manchester United have been handed a boost in signing midfielder Frankie de Jong, with Barcelona having put him up for sale this summer. The Red Devils are eyeing a new defensive midfielder, and they have been regularly linked with the Netherlands international in recent weeks, as now reports that Barcelona have decided to place de Jong in the transfer market after getting the go-ahead from manager Xavi Hernandez. Manchester United and Bayern Munich are mentioned as the main admirers of the former Ajax graduate whose value it at 70 million euros. Valencia's Carlos Soler has been tipped to replace the Dutchman at Camp Nou. It's claimed that a deal worth 20 million euros has already been agreed. A new defensive midfielder should be United's main priority for the summer transfer window, with Nemanja Matic and Paul Pogba heading for the exit door. A number of Premier League stars including James Ward-Prowse and Yevis Bissoma have been linked, but a move for De Jong could be a realistic prospect. De Jong built his reputation at Ajax under Eric Ten Hag. He was a key player for the holding midfield role in the run to the Champions League semi-final in 2019. Bayern have the edge over United with the Champions League qualification, but the chance of a reunion with Ten Hag could lure him to Old Trafford this summer. It has been claimed that De Jong only sees himself playing under Ten Hag if he were to leave the Camp Nou. If United are interested, the final decision could rest upon the incoming boss. De Jong is strong with his technical attributes, the Dutchman has excellent ball control and has completed 91.4% of his passes in the Spanish top flight this campaign. However, He's not a tall tackler and mostly relies on his concentration. If United are looking at the former aspect, Monaco's Aurelien Chouamini would be a better choice. On the other hand, Ward Prowse would be a solid acquisition if Ten Hag wants more creativity. The England star has registered 10 goals and 8 assists this term. In comparison, De Jong has never been a regular goal contributor. He has not scored more than 3 goals in a league campaign since graduating in the Ajax setup. Judging by United's defensive woes, Chouamini would be ideal, but it won't be a surprise if Ten Hag requests the signing of De Jong, who's well versed with his style of play. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.